Hi, I've seen some clips on YouTube about making your own spray paint booth, so I thought I'd show you what I've come up with. Now, I've read that a downdraft is better than an updraft, so what I'm going to do is uh, grab the air from underneath the work surface and pull it up into the fan. We start with the base that's made uh, to clear the burners and it has these baffles in it to create a plenum about one and a half inches deep. It goes on there just like that. Then I use a plain furnace filter, the pleated type. I don't think those fuzzy kinds really uh, filter out the paint elements as well. And you'll note that there's a gap back here of about two and a half inches. This is the work surface, some pegboard. I enlarge some holes in the middle to increase the draw in the middle. Then there's a back panel. The uh, inlet for the exhaust fan is right in here. And by the way, don't do this unless you have uh, your exhaust going directly outside. You don't want the kind that returns air to the room up here. Then there's a front panel. It goes in to the front area of the vent. Then there are side caps. And those have groove, uh, a groove on it here to help it fit in place. Some of you that are more clever than I will find a better way of figuring out these end caps, but they seem to be, do all right. And then we have side panels, and they fit in a groove on the side here. They fit up tight like that. There's a, an overlap here to uh, prevent the ease with which air can get in from the outside. I think I mentioned these windows. Those are for adding, uh, being able to shine in light on the project later on if I decide to. And you may need some tape or something to fix up some of the corners. This is a light bar that I installed for cooking some time ago and uh, it, it's really nice for cooking, this halogen light bar. So let's see how it works. We've got three speeds and it works pretty good but I think it'll work better when I can get some tape around the edge of the filter and and hold the draw to the, the middle of the table. And with nice light. If you come up with something better, great. This will give you some ideas, I hope. Uh, I made this with three full sheets of foam board, six dollars a sheet, so it's not terribly expensive. Happy spray painting to you.